Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. In this episode, we will be taking on Plant 42 after creating the V Jolt. Here is the method on how to make it. Now, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, I mess up a couple times. But that's just because I haven't played Resident Evil in a while. Also, started Kingdom Hearts. I'm a couple of worlds into it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing Kingdom Hearts after this Let's Play, so there's still quite a lot of time for me to get some uh, uh, footage done so that it's ready when uh, this Let's Play is done. Alright, so V-Jolt, gotta create it. Bunch of bottles, I didn't get. I have to go get those now. Um, making the comment, it's 11.45. In 15 minutes, it will be the 28th, April, right, January, February, March, April, yeah, April 28th, aka Worlds of Fun. Now, I have to get up at 6, or before 6, so that I'm up at the high school at 6.30, then we're going to leave and not get back till 10. Therefore, it is highly stupid for me to be up right now at 12. But, I'm going to actually record this, it should uh, end around 12, upload it, and then, yeah. So, this was really recent to when I uploaded it. Like I said, I was working on Kingdom Hearts, uh, got a couple of worlds in footage-wise. I won't voice over until much, much later. But yeah, it's clearly been a while, because I've... Uh, at the beginning, I sucked at the controls. I couldn't believe how bad I was sucking. I mean, I failed the race at the beginning against Riku, and I was just like, wow. Because I've never done that. Or, I probably did at one point, but I'm really good at it. So, I just felt horrible. Anywho, um, trying to think. The game freeze. Oh, come on, don't tell me it froze. Well, I just fixed it anyway. Yeah, if the game freezes for a minute, just wait. Wait a second and, uh, it'll fix itself. That's what sucks about this crappy emulator. Oh yeah, by the way, I was in Joplin today, and uh, they had Final Fantasy X-2 for $7 at GameStop. Or, if I wanted, like, the original case with, you know, the, uh, uh, how, instructions manual or whatnot inside, that would be, like, $15 at Vintage GameStop vintage stock that they have in Joplin Mall at Joplin Mall but I was at the vintage game stock and vintage stock and uh, I looked for Metroid Prime Echoes and the case for that is so weird I mean it, it looked like it had been ruined completely but that was actually how the case is supposed to look it's got that glossy, shiny, silver look to it, and I thought someone had destroyed the case. But at the same time, they had Metroid Prime for $10, and Metroid Prime 2 for $17. I didn't understand. And the, the cases for Metroid Prime were in a lot better looking condition. I mean, there was a couple of them that looked bad. But they, there were a couple that looked a lot more uh, better than the Echo's case, from what I was thinking anyway, condition-wise. And they wanted $17 for Echo's. That was just so weird. But yeah, I went to Vintage Stock looking for Echo's. Um, Trying to think. There was a couple of other games. Hmm. 
I saw Resident Evil Zero for ten dollars. Uh, Shadow of Colossus for fifteen dollars. I'm just gonna name off all the games that I saw that were rather interesting. Fallout three for fifteen dollars. Uh, they actually have some neat wallets there too. They had that huge manga section. They had like uh, Sailor Moon and stuff. Well, not not Sailor Moon, but I saw some Soul Eater, uh, Naruto, I think Black Butler. I don't know. But yeah, I am currently trying to make the V Jolt. Um, yeah, the V Jolt, it took me a minute the first time playing through the game to uh, create it. Uh, I didn't. When I was a kid, I skipped through all the text and wasn't very attentive to. Um, small details such as the writing on the wall, I didn't take that into thought. So I never went up and, like, uh, put two and two together. Hey, look at this wall. This tells me exactly what I need to do. So it took a lot of combining crap, and yeah. A lot of time combining crap, and eventually. I always go up to my dad. Hey dad, uh, I need to make this V jolt. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So help, please. And yeah, then he'd help me. I used to do that a lot. Now I'm an independent gamer. I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. Single player games are basically all I do. I mean, I think the most major multiplayer game I play is World of Warcraft. I I'm trying to think multiplayer. Yeah, I think that's the only multiplayer game I play. And that's an online game at that. I mean, I play like Super Smash Bros Brawl and stuff. That's more of a competitive. I, I wouldn't call that a game. It's more like, well, not like story mode game. I would consider that, you know, arcade type. Because it's just battling. You know, Tekken style. Arcade. But yeah, that's about as uh, multiplayer as I get for consoles. And then I have World of Warcraft, so, meh. The rest of the games I play, basically single player only. Got some Resident Evil, Zelda, Kingdom Hearts. However, Kingdom Hearts Stream Drop Distance, I found out was multiplayer. I don't know how it's multiplayer, but it's multiplayer. Will you just send it? Yes. Time to poison a plant. Hmm. Yeah, getting back to Resident Evil talk. Because, you know, I've been off topic this whole time. I have worlds of fun on the mind. The brain. I mean, basically, we get at least eight hours. Because we're going to be there till closing, so that's seven. And if we're leaving at 6, that only takes us a couple of hours to get up there, play for like 10 minutes. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Plenty of hours to do whatever. I mean, there's going to be multiple schools, so I'm pretty sure there might be a couple long lines, but, you know, roller coasters, whatever. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Hang out with the bandies. And yeah, that's what the V-Jolt does. It shrivels up and dies. Ha ha ha. Stupid plants. I destroy plants. I spit in your general direction. 
plants, your mother was a hamster, and whatnot. Monty Python reference, by the way. Monty Python movies are funny. Favorites, Holy Grail. I mean, really? Monty Python, the Holy Grail. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. <laughs> Order it and watch it now. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Wait, no! Is it an African or European swallow? What? I don't know. I mean, it's hilarious. I, I don't think that was an exact quote, but whatever. I can't remember exactly what was said in the movie. All right, let's go in here. Oh, and here. We need to get into the plant 42 room. All right. Equip this bazooka. Or actually, I, oh, it's bazooka. I thought it was called a grenade launcher for some reason. But that's what it's called in later games. Grenade launcher. Alright, Plant 42. What is your name? Plant 42. What is your quest? To kill all humans of the world. What is your favorite color? Uh, red. You may pass. <laughs> However, on the way, we will kill you. Just to let you know. I am talking to a plant. Therefore, I have lost my mind. But yeah, basically, keep moving so you stay out of the way of the uh, water or whatever it is that is leaking from the ceiling. Shoot the plant several times, and yeah. Eventually, it will die. Stay out of the way of its tentacle things. Anywho, we need to look into the fireplace. Mansion key. Oh boy. Let's grab that and, uh, you know, go. Let's get out of here. Where does that key lead? I can't remember. Well, it, it leads somewhere in the mansion, which means not here. Therefore, we must leave. We can leave the guardian area, and if I remember right, we don't need to come back here at all. We left some after some herbs. But there was a sound over there. Wesker! Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Trying to sound Where all cool have you there, been? Wesker. You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. So you're I'm safe. I'm sorry. But I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself protect against myself. those strange creatures. Way to play it cool. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Oh, absolutely. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay. I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Oh, sure. That wasn't strange at all, and he was apparently shooting moths or something. Whatever those wasps that... Oh, duh, wasps. He was shooting wasps. Why did I say moth? Anywho, that's all good, and uh, I'm going to go in here. Got a minute left of this episode. I will go ahead and uh, store some stuff. Uh, don't
don't need the bazooka any longer. So. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, nothing. What am I doing pressing that? All right. Uh, that should be all that I need. Uh, my health. Uh, that's at caution. I should probably, probably grab some green herbs. Got that. Got that. We'll combine them. Anywho, so this should be it for this episode. I will go ahead and once I combine these herbs and fill my health, uh, see you all next time. And uh, let's play Resident Evil. Goodbye.